Hey everyone, I finally got my charms done for the Your Paper Pantry Art I Make Charm Swap. Um, the rules this month were it had to be steampunk and you had to use an image on the packaging, I believe. If there were other rules, I obviously didn't read them because that's all the ones I remember. Um, this took me forever. It, it wasn't so much that I couldn't figure out what to do for the charm, I couldn't figure the packaging out. And so I finally got it figured out today and now I'm getting them packaged up and I, before I get them in the packages I thought I would share what I made. They're all just a little bit different but they have the same basic theme. Um, this is what they look like. Uh, I used the Tim Holtz, I think they're ide ideology tags? I don't know what all these things are called. But anyways, they each have a different saying on them. Uh, I used the fishing bobbin things for fishing. Uh, right here to hold it to the butterfly wings uh, and then here's the other part of the the fishing bobbin thingy um, I used this to glue it all together and this was my first I've used e6000 but this was my first bead and jewelry one and it worked really good and it it, it was easy to keep open because I just stuck a tack in it and it stayed good um, let's see I did the little bottle caps and then I made faces to go in each one of them and I colored them and I glued a couple of pieces of a couple gears between the butterfly and the lock uh, part of the body and then I put a clock on it with a little spinner hand not that you can't see all this stuff yourself but uh, they all have a different word tag uh, and then just a little brass hanging tag I put a made with love charm on there because I don't know I like them so I bought a whole bunch of them they each have a key, and again, all the keys are just a little bit different. They're held on to the butterfly with a seven gypsies, uh, like, safety pin uh, that I punched a hole in the back of the butterfly for it to go through. I layered a couple of all of the, the butterfly and the flowers are from Butterbee Scraps, and I layered a couple of those, and I put in a little metal center there. I had these little ruler charms, so I added them on. I just liked them. There's no real theme really to it. Uh, on the back of it though, I put a saying that says, Steampunk, Steampunk is an elect eclectic world of cogs and rivets. It is airships, goggles, and steam. It is romance. It is travel on clouds and diving beneath the rugged waves. It is simply adventure. And so I put that on the back of the tag. And so that that's basically how they are and I've pretty much managed to drop every single one of them on the floor and they've held together so I think they're gonna stay together <laughs> um, but that's what I made and then that's the back and then on the back of this I put my information on it there's a little gear on the back of that one and so that's what my charms look like and like I said they're all pretty much the same They've got a little different colored metals and a little different keys and that kind of stuff and words, but I'll, I made four of them so Steffi doesn't have to choose. <laughs> um, but that's basically what they look like. And then for the, the packaging, which gave me mo the most trouble, uh, let me set these over here. I came up with this. We had to do an image on our packaging. And so this was the image that I found on DeviantArt. It was a free download. Um, I'll provide the link below um, if I can find it again. But it, they allowed us to download it. And so um, I used those, that image there. And then I wired it to the top of a cutout I got from the Silhouette store. This is what the, the cutout looked like. And on the cutout, I just used different distress stains and made it look kind of rusty. I thought it turned out looking kind of rusty. And so that's the base part of it. Let's see here. Okay. Um, okay. So that was the base of it. And then I printed out this, this image on parchment paper and I backed it with a piece of black paper that I ran through using a Sizzix folder I just got. So that, cause you'll see it in the back. So I wanted it to be decorated too, cause I didn't back any of these. And so that's how I put that and I scrappy taped it down and then at the bottom I put that same quote that's on the back of the charm so you could actually read it <laughs> and I needed to stabilize the bottom so I put that at the bottom so that it would added some strength to it and then basically I'll just wire 
the charm here, and that way if you want to use the tag for something else, you can you can take the charm off easily. It shouldn't ruin it in, in shipping, and you can use the tag for something else. Um, let's see. So that's, that's the tag part that I did. And then to package it up, so let me get this off of here. I, thanks to Steffi's Happy Mail package, I am sending it in one of these. Everybody gets one but Steffi because she has them. And so <laughs> I'm sending hers open so she doesn't feel like she has to open all of these. And like I said, they're all basically the same. So um, don't, you know, it's not like you're going to, you're going to get something completely different. Um, so when, when you pull it out of the bag, I didn't hook it to the bag. So that you can use as a, as for the next project that you want to do. And then I put it in a cellophane bag and I topped it with a piece of craft paper that I ran through a different Sizzix die that I, or folder that I had. I also ran these little paper bags through a Sizzix die. You can kind of see it there. And I printed some stuff to you. And then there's goodies in the bag. Um, and then my information. And basically that is what I did. And I hope they'll be all right and work out. They should ship fine if they don't. There, there's extra little rings in there to hook everything back together and glue. I didn't provide the glue, but everybody seems to have the glue. So, um, so I hope that everybody likes them and um, I will get these shipped off eventually. Now I've got to tackle my artsy fartsy tickets that I have in my brain, but they are, that's as far as they've gotten so far. Um, Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, Yourpaperpantry.neem.com. It's awesome. You have to join. I wish I could do all the swaps, but I'm barely getting these two done. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, though. Um, thanks so much, Steffi, for hosting. And um, later. Bye.